Hi. Welcome. This is part two of my Romantic Country Scenes Color Along by Teresa Goodrich. We are working on this page here. It is also colored in the back of the book if you need some inspo or don't know what anything is. I kind of like having this. Um, as you can see, I'm not going the exact same direction, but similar. Um, I am going to do red for this, which is what we're going to work on here in this part. I was going to try to be different because I didn't want to match the back. Um, but with my color palette, the way things are going, red is about my only option. I don't want a whole lot of blue with the way my windows are. I don't want green with all this greenery. Um, I just don't think yellow is going to mesh very well with the combo I have going. So we're going to go ahead and make it red. So... I need a dark, medium, a light, and a shadow color. So I am going to go and let's use the back of my daughter's school note here because it's handy. So my dark is going to be crimson. My medium is going to be carmine and it will look a little pinky, um, kind of what I'm going for. When I add the white, I want it to look worn, and I'm afraid if I add like a poppy red to it or a vermilion, it's gonna get more of an orangey color, not that wear look I'm going for. So, I'm looking for scarlet here. Okay, so also be aware, depending on the set you have, crimson, Scarlet. See how that one is orangey? I set it down. Where did it go? Oh no, those are both scarlets. So see the difference in them? Um, so just be aware. Um, I think the older sets, like way older sets, are the darker color than newer sets. Um, have the reddish color in them. So now that I have everybody confused, we're going crimson, scarlet... There's barely any difference there and carmine, which will be a little bit of my pinky color. And then up to you what you want to use for your shadow color, but um, black raspberry or Tuscan red. Both are great shadow colors for this combination. Okay, so... I'm going to turn just a little because I'm a lefty and this is already tilted here, sort of. I'm going to make sure I have a sharp tip. And that's not even the pencil I'm starting with. We're going to start crimson. Which is going to be our dark. We're going to be super careful around these leaves because if we mix green and red, we're going to get an ugly muddy color. So we're going to take our time. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now where her lines are thicker, I'm going to assume is a little bit bigger of a shadow area. So when we come to working down our roof here, we're going to go ahead and darken that spot a little more. And she snuck up here anyway. Lay down. Just gonna block the light. Okay, sorry about the kitty feet. Um, we're also gonna do this line right here, but we're gonna go under it. Sorry, excuse us, pardon us. Okay. So um, the way we're looking at this here is we want the shadow under it, right? Because on top, it's gonna be kind of the brightest where the sun is hitting it. And this line is where it starts to curve downwards. So to get that dimensional effect, we're going to darken under this line. Notice I'm not coming in super dark, right? This is our planning phase, plotting some colors, making sure this is what we want. So again, darker. Darker. I'm trying to go by the gaps here to make sure I'm coloring lines of the roof and not stems of the flowers. Again, on the back cover would probably be a good place to look if you're unsure. Um, 
I should have picked a freebie for this book, but I didn't think about it till after. So the next page I do, I will try to do a freebie so that everybody gets a chance to join in on things. I don't know if it'll be a Teresa page, but we'll see. Okay, so then we're going to go trying to decide. We're going to go with our scarlet here, and I'm using my dark scarlet. Yours is a bright red scarlet. Okay, notice I am not scribbling hard over the top of the lines. Um, I'm only doing right here this direction because once I get down out of the leaves, I'm going to want my flow of the pencils to go this way to help with that kind of cloth effect. Um, but I want to make sure I blend nice and well up here next to this dark line, so that's why I'm doing that. Okay, so see, once we get going here... Okay, I'm leaving between these leaves right here white because I'm going to hit it with the green pencil for the look. Again, I don't want to try to mix my red and green too much when I get that far. So it's going to look a little silly, but... Okay, the lines are shorter right here. So I'm going to assume this is where the brightest spot is and that the dip in it doesn't go all the way down. So I'm not going to color it all the way down. I'm going to stick with the lines provided for now. Now as I get it filled in, I may change my mind. but Okay, over here, again, we are just following along the bottom. Now, I did all mine red. If you want to go red, white, red, white, that is perfectly fine. Um, I just kind of like the look of this one. And then I'm going to bring in my pinkish color. Sharpen that a little bit. A little bit more. Remember, the farther back you hold your pencil, the lighter your pressure will be. And I am kind of back blending over everything. Okay. Sorry, my critter is still trying to sneak up here. She is really close with one of my boys, and my boy has been at his uncle's house for a few days, hanging out, whatever, and so she's like lonely and bored, and I'm the only one here to hang out with because everybody else is sleeping, so she spends her days laying on my books and chasing my pencil sharpener. Alright, so getting around in here. Again, I can come back and darken these if I decide they need to be, but we're going to get all the color in first. These two look similar, very, very similar, so I'm trying to make sure I don't mix them up here. So 
I'm kind of darkening one side of the line. Just so I know which side I'm going to put a little bit of my shadow on. Here we're going to switch sides now. And I'm going to go ahead and do now I'm just kind of roughing it because at the bottom I am going to add another one of the darker colors it's looking pretty plain Jane right now one second okay sorry about that do not disturb gets me every time all right coming back in with that crimson and I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna press a little harder Trying to stay in the lines here. Okay. And this will look a little less pinky once we get this next layer in here. Now before I add my darks, I am going to blend this out a little bit. I know usually I put my dark in first, but... Wanted to do this one a little different to try to get that weathered look. Okay, back in with Scarlet a little here. Got my leaf a little. Red is also the harder, hardest color to erase. It really likes to stain paper no matter what eraser or pencil or pressure you use. So remember that when you're getting crazy with it. All right. Coming in with that carmine. All right. So I'm going to do this side. And then swap it up a little because the whole thing will be the same. But that way you're going to see some other things in this video. So back with Crimson. Okay, also pulling that black raspberry. And I'm going to come along my line here. I'm going to go with a little Tuscan red there to help mellow that out. It looks a little purple with my pink. So change of plans, Tuscan red if you're following. Okay, and I'm not going to make it as wide as my crimson line, but I am going to darken this with my Tuscan. My line actually doesn't match up right there. Okay, and in a couple spots, just randomly, I'm just going to dirty it up a little so it looks a little worn. Okay, 
Okay, and then we are going to need our white pencil, and I don't think I pulled mine. Oh, no, here comes the kitty again. All right, and right here in the middle, this is hard to do with this little of a pencil. No, it is not going to stay that white. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry. I think we knocked a couple of pencils on the floor. None I'm using right this second. Okay. And I'm going to kind of make that less white. I know it's a very professional way of doing it, but um, okay. So I guess it was the one I needed that landed on the floor. If you still think it's too white, go over it a little. I actually think mine looks pretty good, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure the edges of it aren't rough and everything is really blended. This dark line right here doesn't look right. And that is going to be how my, the whole thing looks. So I will do that to that effect all the way across the top. All right, so I got her all colored in there. I did want to show you that I am taking a little bit of pomegranate. And this is just kind of darkening. But it has a little bit of that pinky tone, so it kind of helps blend everything together here. So I will bring that down a little. And then kind of blend it down as I go down the arch there. So there's kind of a before and after. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to do the same thing on these letters. Your choice if you want to do marker and or pencil. Um, marker is a little easier in smaller spaces and you can blend marker. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do marker, but if you are doing pencils, it is the same colors we did above. So real quickly, let me pull. I got a dark. It might not work because there we go. I lost the grippy to it, so I wasn't sure if the cap actually sealed. Don't ask me how I lost the grippy off a marker, but it happened. All right, let's see. Let's see if we got a dark, medium, or light here. So I'm going to swatch these just like I do pencils for those of you that aren't big on markers. I don't love my dark, so I'm going to pick a different dark. But the other two I'm happy with, so give me one second. Alright, here we go. Sharpies. All three of them to match my pencils. <clears throat> okay, so your choice whether you want to go dark, medium, light, top to bottom. Um, the back goes top to bottom, dark to light. Kind of actually, I need that paper. Undecided here. Let's see. So real quickly, this open doesn't have a whole lot to it. So I am going to, with my lightest color, make sure I'm on screen. Why am I blurry? Did that help? Sorry about the bumping. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay. And then I think I am. I'm going to go turn this a little here. Let me bring it down. 
I don't think I have done a color along on markers. Um, but beware that if you use water-based markers, they are a little more streaky, so you might get a different effect. Um, now, I am biased to alcohol markers. I love my alcohol markers. Uh, and I love blending them, so... And this little of a space you're streaking might not be noticeable with water-based markers, but just beware of that. Okay, so notice I'm keeping my light red even all the way across. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, and I'm going to keep it even all the way across. I don't want, um, I don't want it to look different. Symmetry is what I'm going for. So I think I'm about there. Um, if you need to, you can always go like this. Just make sure your ruler is straight across the page. Make sure I'm on camera here. This looks so pink, but I promise we're gonna fit it's gonna be fixed when I get done. <laughs> it looks so weird on camera because I just kinda left it hanging. Now it does look like I went kind of far down with my red for getting three colors in there, but I need a little spot to blend the next color. So I am accounting for that as I go. Let's see. I'm going to have to bring it down a little over here. So, like, if you're like me and trying to eyeball it, um, I went to the top line of the E, top line of the F. Of course, these are easier to line up because they're right there with it, but when I'm trying to match it to this side, that's why I went, okay, I went to the top of the E, so my line in my A is even. Just a way to eyeball it is to keep the E's all lined up. Alright, so we're going to take our next darkest. Alright, so just kind of filling it in here, blending as I go. Um, another reason I did not do pencil right here is because I was scared that when I went to blend my window out the rest of the way and put in my white gel pen and get that glass effect going, if I had any red dust on there, it would show up. So with marker, I don't have that problem. So I just also want to keep my window a little bit clean. Okay, darkest color. And if you don't like the dark color, you can leave it off. I don't have a whole lot of it on here and it will look a little less dark when I go back over it with the first color. And my Sharpie sprung a leak. Um, not sure if you can see that, but. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off with a napkin because I tend to hold my Sharpies low down there like that. And if I get that all over me, I will spread it everywhere on everything I work on the rest of the night. This is a new pen too. I just took it out of the set. Come on, Sharpie. Alright, so I am going to go back over with my last color. My first two blended really well, but I want to make sure these two don't have any lines. Now when you're looking at the whole page, the letters are really not a huge part of the deal, but I'm here taking the time on them, so I might as well make them look nice. Alright. 
So there we are with our letters. Now, the bars across them, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go sideways. So I'm going to go dark and dark. Try to keep it even. Okay, almost. I almost messed that up. I felt the hand spasm coming on. Okay, and then we're going to go... And then light. So again, if you're going in pencils, it's the same concept. Now this look, this looks a little dark red, especially for letters on a window. Um, but remember, I usually color dark and rich. So when I get all these cakes in, it's not going to look so out of place. Like you see how dark my wood is. Um, it won't look as out of place once everything is in. So also why I have these colors out, we're going to come down here and we're going to do his little collar. And that just kind of pulls the red feel all the way down. So I'm going to go dark up here. Because even on his collar, I want just a little bit of um, lights and darks on there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my dark and I'm just going to barely dot any. Just like that. We got him a red collar in. So now that we got those done, um, I'm also going to quickly show you how I'm going to finish up my wood on the bottom. So here's that dark umber. So this will all be colored in. I'm also going to shadow in here. make that look like it's a ledge. I was going to do my chairs wood, but then I realized this is a lot of wood to compete with. So I think I am going to do red chairs. Um, so I'll probably do the chairs on the sidewalk on the next video here. I just want to make sure that whatever I do on this side, I do on this side. Because we don't want it to look like a ledge here on this side and then not on this side. So wherever we're shadowing and making our high points, we want to keep it even. So I'm going to shadow on top and around this, but not on it. And we'll give that a nice gold color so it'll stand out there when we get done. Down the corner. So again, we're going to come over here. And the lines are thicker over here, so we're going to have a little dark shadow over here. All right, just carry that. So this little thing right here on the door is going to be the same. And the inside of this. And I will follow my same pattern for all of those. So the next will come chocolate. about the outside right this second. I'm gonna work my way there. Okay, this is the burnt ochre. We're starting to get that ready color to match everything here. I'm trying to work on my ADHD of skipping around pages as I go, especially when I video. Almost got me, but I, I've caught myself. Okay, I'm going to make sure that is all colored in nice and good before I bring in my orange. Okay. 
I say K and then I see a spot I need to fix. And I'm about out of time. So bring in our orange. All right, so questions, comments, please let me know. If you have a request for a color along, please let me know. I could do that as well. Um, sorry, trying to make sure I don't screw this up here. And I hope to see you next video. We will have this finished and the wood finished. Bye.